この思いを消してしまうにはまだ人生長いでしょう。Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Formal Agamis Brotherhood episode 1559. Yeah, and last episode,、um, this doctor, whatever, is trying to push Roy into becoming a human sacrifice by gravely injuring Hawkeye and, you know, Just threatening Roy and telling him that if he doesn't do the alchemy thing, that he's gonna let Hawkeye die. But if he does it, since he has a philosopher's stone, he can just heal her or whatever. And Roy agreed. But before he agreed, there was this look that passed between him and Hawkeye. And I'm hoping that. Uh, I don't know that he's not gonna do it, that it's all a, a plan or something to fix this dude out because, uh, so yeah. And then there was Al that is not waking up either, so like, I'm worried, man. Like, these two people are worrying me, so well, these three, <laughs> sorry, okay. Um, so yeah. That's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys are my reaction, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe. And please consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash philomini. And now, let's start this episode. And here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. <sighs> Human transportation. I don't know why I have such a hard time remembering this. I feel like they're gonna turn against him or something. The hell is that? Looks light. Huh? Tripped up by your enemy. <gasps> oh my gosh. No, you're not. We got Dr. Marco. Where is it? Where's Dr. Marco? Where is Dr. So, so that's why he said no. Because she was looking up to him. Okay. Makes sense. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Get the F out of his way. Where's Dr. Marco? Is, is he not there? Well, their alchemy is used to help people, right? Girl, forget about that. Go ahead and heal her. <laughs> I love when um, Meikang, no, Xiaomei, yeah, when she like acts the same as Meikang, so cute. I knew there was something. I knew it. Ah. <laughs>、uh. Can you let this appear? I know that dude was not dead, man.
Is he smiling? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I completely forgot about this dude. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. What the freak? <laughs> Nothing surprised me sees me anymore about this dude, man. What are they doing? Am I supposed to know him? Can he die already? Why are they not showing his face? He can see.
no, 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 When the way last episode ended and Roy said that he was gonna do the he was gonna perform the human um, transmutation and I'm like I was hoping that it was it was all part of a plan or something and yeah that look that Hawkeye gave him was to tell him that they had allies up there you know And I was so glad to see them, like, you know, they came in, and Mei Chang, and Xiao Mei, you know, and the, the chimeras. And when that doctor was saying that he is the only doctor here that can use uh, the Philosopher's Stone to heal, or whatever, and I'm like, no, we have Dr. Marco also, he can do that. And I thought he was among them, but no. And so they showed up, they defeated all the fake Bradleys and stuff. And I'm like, okay. I was feeling so happy. And then Bradley showed up. In the, Well, before he showed up, Mei-chan was going after He saw the Philosopher Stone that was in the bottle. She saw it and then she was going after it. You know, because she needs one for her country and whatever. But then you have Hawkeye there that was bleeding to death. So she had to make a choice between going after that and then, you know, saving her. And she went and saved her. And when she tried to go back and get the philosopher, so that's when Bradley showed up. <sighs> this dude just doesn't seem to die, man. He just doesn't seem to. But it seems like his final battle is going to be happening between him and Scar. I hope Scar makes it through this. Wow. The way th this anime is starting, like, I'm like, uh, now I don't want Scar to die. Um, uh, we've been through a lot, man. Like, I don't want him to die. I want Bradley to be, like, gone. Like, for real. Be gone. And then, the other dude showed up. Like, I completely forgot about him. That pride even still existed. That I completely forgot about him. And then he showed up. And absorbed the doctor. And then forced Roy to... Like... How, how is that even possible? I know... Um, was it Bradley or Pride that said it? That the doctor had the knowledge about human transmutation inside of him or something or other how, how does that I don't know but 
they sort of forced the human transmutation thing upon Roy. And when he showed up where Edward and the others were, and I'm like, he started speaking, you know, normally. It didn't seem like nothing was wrong with him, but then they were actually showing his face, and I'm like, why are they showing his face? You know? And then when he said that, I'm, I'm surprised you can see or whatever, that everything is dark over here or something or other, I can't see anything. I'm like, so they took away his eyes. I love when homunculus was going through what everybody lost when they were trying to do the human transportation circle and that, like, for example, when it came to um, the Izumi, she was trying to be, bring her dead baby back to life and, and because of that, she can't have any more kids, you know? It's like what you want is like a direct, like the... What they take from you is like a direct sequence or something of what you wanted to get out of the human transmutation circle. And then when it came to Roy, I am I so completely agree with Edward's outburst. Because it's not like Roy wanted to do this. He didn't do it. They forced it upon him. So why does he get to carry the the consequence you know why isn't it the others that you know so that truth thing you said the truth is illogical or something and yeah he didn't want to do that now they forced it upon him and then while all of this is happening like i was still there not waking up and then they went to where our soul was actually actually was he was right in front of his body and he had the chance to reunite with his body but he chose not to because since his body was so frail and they had all these enemies that they needed to defeat he's like i can't do that in his own body you know he's like and then the body told him if he wanted to go back like he is right now that he's not gonna stop him or something and yeah he left his own body behind and i love how his body was like i was this dignified soul and that he was happy to be his, his vessel or something or other i don't know the way he phrased it was uh, kind of cool and then he's like but then, then the fact that you went means that this world may be plunged into this I don't know, darkness or something or other meaning now they have all five human sacrifices there and whatever father is trying to do he's gonna do i guess I am so upset, upset about this. I seriously hope, like I really hope, that when all of this is done, at least, even if the others don't get whatever parts they lost, at least Roy gets his back. Because it's not fair. Edward and Alphonse and Izumi, they knew what they were doing. And they did it. They consciously did it. Roy did not. So I seriously hope that he's gonna get his ass side back. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see the next episode right now, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash feel mini. And you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.